All right, hey, Bart Miller with Cycling Strong. So I want to talk about a little bit about my um, how I got into longer rides and stuff like that. So I was already I already done a couple long rides, and I remember my first century and how much stress and agony I went through to get ready for that, and it was like crazy. I was talking to everybody, trying to figure out what I should pack, what I shouldn't pack. You know, how much water do I need? How much of this? How much of that do I need? You know, all these kind of things, right? And gearing, conditions, all that. And I remember how stressed I was because I just didn't know the unknown. And in cycling, your body's so different, so unique. There's so many things to figure out. So I was always really just stressed out about that kind of stuff. And then one time we went to a show called Race Across the Sky. And I was with a few buddies and we came back. And uh, I remember watching the show with my wife, and she was like freaking out. She's like, are you kidding? I mean, there's grown men crying. There's people wrecking. There's um, there's just so much agony in that. Why would you want to go through that pain? And I think the biggest answer to that for me is just because it makes me feel like I've accomplished something. It's, it just really, I don't know what it is, but there's nothing like knowing that you've trained and went through a system or followed everything and then you've accomplished your goal and so that was super important for me and so I came back and uh, decided I wanted to enter for the race across the sky and I didn't get in which was super discouraging to me too because I really wanted to get in the event so I went for four years and didn't get in and I kept thinking I'm never gonna get into this event and it's so hard for me to get in and um, and I'd been doing other events and I just thought, you know, I want to do Leadville because it's such an epic race. And I want to take and fight all my internal struggles. And I really didn't have anybody that was going over there with me. So I, didn't, I knew I didn't have to have my buddies and things like that looking at me saying, how, how well is he going to do or how this, that, the other, you know. So I was fighting all these struggles, right? I was going back and forth, just probably like you do. If you look at yourself right now, you're probably thinking, man. Do I understand that? I fight a lot of different struggles in my life too. But at that point, I was really fighting those struggles and thinking to myself, I've got to, I've got to get my stuff together. And so I decided to do um, one of their camps that they had so that I could get into the race. And when I decided that, I had kind of an aha moment that I, I should document everything that I'm doing so that I can really express and show everybody the, the different things that I found through my journey. And um, so I did the uh, camp, rode with Rebecca, rode with Dave Weens, uh, Josh Colley, all those guys, and it was amazing. Like we, I learned so much and had a great, great time. And I really found one thing that was important is, for me, was really the more I know the course, the better I'm gonna perform because it really helped me to, it helps me to visualize and understand where certain aspects of the course are so that when I get there, you know, I can let my brain not work on me. Like as far as what I mean by that is, you know, give up, don't do this, you can't make it, or oh my gosh, it's going to be and you know this much further. But knowing that a little bit helps me to fight those internal battles that I fight. And so then I uh, got done with the camp, came home, went through my bike, got all my stuff packed, got everything figured out for Leadville, and uh, went back for the race. We were set up and. Uh, what was it? I, I came off, started coming down, power line, got off the descent there, started coming down, and you'll find more of the, you know, the story in some of my others, but I'm not going to get into a ton of detail, but my chain broke. And that was one of those things that was just like, are you kidding me? I'm never going to make the buckle. You know, all these things go through your head, and all of a sudden you're not only going through your head, but they're, um, you're, you're, you're sitting there on the side of the road going, how can I make this? better for me or how can I make this a good experience you know and I thought you know you don't have to every event when you get there you don't have to make it like it doesn't have to be your number one event or it doesn't you know every event you can make into a good thing if you want to I guess is what I'm trying to say and some of us get ourselves so worked up over certain things that we can't even enjoy uh, the events we're in so I decided at that point I was going to enjoy the event and just let things unfold the way they needed to unfold and so I did exactly that was able to 
Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Anyway, I was able to uh, get my chain fixed enough to get me to an aid station, got a new chain on my bike, and then proceeded forth. And I just remember uh, just thinking to myself, because there's so many people in that race that have so many different issues that they're fighting, I thought, you know, I've got two legs, I'm healthy, it's all good. It doesn't matter if I don't get that big belt buckle. And uh, at the same time, I knew I was going to be able to push and push hard, and so I wanted to do that. So I did that, I kept going, and I remember my kids and my family, how excited they were for me, and every aid station I came in, they had everything ready, and they were just so motivating to keep me going and cheering me on. And that, that was really nice. And um, so then as we, we finished that event, I came home and thought, you know what, I'm gonna put a book together that's kind of my journey through Leadville and I'm gonna call it the Leadville 100 Survival Guide. And um, I've got that book right here. And so I did that. Uh, I, I built this book and it's got all sorts of information in it. And it, it's really my journey through Leadville. And <laughs> um, what I did is I put a lot of different things in here of cycling period, because one of the things I find is most events are very similar if you're doing endurance events. And so I started to put this together because I wanted a reference for other people to be able to um, kind of have a checklist or some things that they could think about or look at or stuff like that. And uh, formulated the guide and I still refer to different things in here. So when I'm getting ready for different events, because like I said, I've taken pictures of different things and nutrition and stuff like that that I, I, I even going to use on that, uh, the, the events. And so... Anyway, um, yeah, I, I just, as I, the call to action for you, I guess, is at this point is, is you kind of heard the story, you, you know, you, you can look at yourself right now and know where you're at and what you're doing in cycling, but if you're looking for something that can help you with different types of events, maybe, um, invest in yourself and spend 10 bucks and go buy this Leadville Survival Guide for yourself. And then... Let's talk about it and let's talk about some different things that we might be able to add to edition number two of this or whatever it may be. But I think there's some really helpful things in here. Um, once again, it's my story. It's uh, when I broke the chain and it's all the things that went wrong that I helped to uh, get fixed so that you wouldn't have to go through those things. So if you wanna take action and, and buy one, it's $10, you got some shipping on it and uh, would love to to get one of these out to you and hopefully help you have a better cycling events uh, and things like that. But but I always remember that it's really about the journey, getting there and enjoying the journey. But when you're new, to get rid of some of that stress and anxiety of what clothing, what should I think about, you know, these things, this might be a good place to start and a good help. You know, if nothing else, it will give you something fun to read about somebody else's story, I guess. But Anyway, thanks for watching this, and uh, you can go to cyclingstrong.com. That's cyclingstrong.com. Uh, I don't really sell very many things because I, I don't know why I don't. I should sell more things, but I don't. But uh, it helps me to uh, support the blog and do stuff like that. But anyway, love to have you part of the community, and uh, hopefully you'll get the book and enjoy it. Talk to you soon.